Hello, Pioneers. I hope you're well. My name is Ben, and welcome to my new show called Satisfactory Reddit Rundown, the tentatively planned weekly show where I highlight the best of the best, or maybe even the worst, posts on the r slash Satisfactory Games subreddit, which itself is the second best place on the internet to talk about our favorite game, Satisfactory. The very best place to discuss Satisfactory being my very own community Discord. Link in the description. We're starting off, first highlight ever, with the best of the best of the week. It's this image from the user DJ Kingo 13 entitled, It's Containers All the Way Down. And if you're thinking to yourself that this looks an awful lot like the Star Wars Galactic Senate, you, me, and every single other commenter had the exact same thought. The original poster then followed up with a comment saying that this is built in the abyss north of the Dune Desert, and it's going to function as their plutonium waste storage. They decided not to reveal the total amount that can be stored just yet, but they did hint that it takes about seven and a half hours for items to go from the highest and first container down to the bottom. That is absolutely insane. The next post is this IRL image of some plushies, coffee cup, and a few other items posted by the user Kevlar Gorilla six days ago. Kevlar Gorilla himself runs the www.lizarddoggo.com official merch partner website of Coffee Stain Studios, and they produce these plushies and more items. And they've also recently just launched a new Kickstarter, which includes plushies not previously released, including the fluffy-tailed hog and the space giraffe tick penguin whale thing, which is very cool. Next, we have user ecstaticad8693, who submitted this actual photograph of their Lego constructor, which is a fan favorite on the subreddit. A very creative user posted this constructor on the Lego's Idea website, trying to get this made into an official set. It received a ton of upvotes, but however, sadly, it was not selected to be an official Lego set. However, you can, and if I think about it, I'll put a link down in the description below, you can download the plans, order all the parts, and then build this yourself. In fact, I should probably do that. Write that down. Now we have user Gabe Hershey, two days ago, posted a 3D printed Pioneer helmet. Look at this thing, it's fantastic. Did a great job. Really, really very cool. Next up, we have the user Fev Yuki, who posted this screenshot of their Twin Towers. Very cool. Anybody that knows me and has watched my videos knows I love a skyscraper. Love a skyscraper. Check out my season one video where I built and replicated the Burj Khalifa. Next, a user trying to get near and dear to my heart, use Lockman Lung, who appears to have drastically overbuilt and decorated eight coal generators. Look at this image. It's beautiful. The orange lights, the different angles on the front and back and sides. This is spectacular. I love it. I wish I could build with a skill, but I can't. So I'll talk about it on YouTube instead. Next up is our first meme of the series by user Svenderman. A very common post on the subreddit is, which one should I choose of the alternate recipes? I find them to be a little bit uh, not worth discussion because eventually you learn that you should, that you'll be able to unlock all of them. So it's not a very useful discussion, but I do like this meme. It's your game. Pick the one that works best for you. Our next post is not safe for life, so please avert your eyes if you get nauseated easily. User Andrew42. They say, I finally decided to take advantage of verticality with my new factory. And it is awful. You should be ashamed. Also, it's fantastic. Great, great, great mess of a job. Oh my god. Next up, look at the city. Oh, I love it. Right now in my season 2.5, I'm trying to build a city. In my mind, I want mine to look like this. And in reality, mine looks nothing like this, which is hard. This is great. Posted by Alex88FR. They are a prolific poster on the subreddit and share a lot of great images. And this one is very beautiful as well. The user Interminable Quoter posted something to cleanse our palate after that last hairball of something that's perfectly balanced and organized. As all things should be, they say. I found this first screenshot here from user A-D-I-K-L-A-F-A. -A. Very inspirational. I love the curve. It looks really awesome. They did a great job. And you can see the signs right there embedded in as well. Looks really cool. Yeah, look at this facility. Love that. The shiny floors. Looks awesome. Great job. And our last highlighted post is from user Nacelle72. Did this game ruin sleep for you too? 
Yes, Nacelle, it did. I had never once before woken up at five in the morning in a cold sweat, having solved an issue while I was sleeping until I started playing this game. I can't recall what it was right now, but my fix actually worked, too. Which is amazing. Good job, sleeping bed. You solve all my problems. Well, that's gonna do it. Those are the posts I found most interesting on the subreddit r slash satisfactory game this week. What did you think of this video format? Is it interesting, entertaining? Do you want to see any more? Let me know. I thought I'd try something new and try to bridge two communities that I really, really enjoy. The YouTube community and this subreddit. See you later. Take care. Bye now.